Hey guys, what's up? It's our here, Old School Duel 12, coming at you with a Luna Light deck profile. It is a new fusion archetype. <laughs> uh, but before we jump into it, I just want to quickly tell you that I'm apologizing for not uploading a uh, a video game and just let me complain news well the the video game video was last week I forgot I thought I uploaded it but I just I forgot um, I noticed that this morning and it didn't um, and the just let me complain news uh, yeah I dropped the ball on that one like hardcore just completely uh, forgot and there was also no news to really talk about so I didn't I didn't want to waste your time with a random video about nothing when I had nothing to talk about. Um, so hopefully there's news this week. If not, um, if there's no news, then I have some exciting news to tell you guys. Um, more exciting news. It, has to, it pertains to my game. Um, so yeah, more update news on that. That will come this Saturday on Just Let Me Complain. But the reason why you're here, the deck profile. Um, so Luna Lights, Luna Lights are amazing. I love them so much. They are just, just amazing. We start things off with Luna Light, Blue Cat. Blue Cat is your special summoner from the deck. Also, when it's because when, when it's destroyed by battle or when it's destroyed uh, and sent to graveyard, uh, you get to special summon one Luna Light monster, any Luna Light monster from deck to field. Uh, and also, if it if Blue Cat is special summoned, then you get to double the attack of in of another Luna Light except for a blue cat. So that's amazing. Um, Luna Light, Black Sheep. I play three of them. Three Luna Light Black Sheep because it has three effects. Um, the first effect is if the first effect or the first two effects can be activated the same way, but you only get one. You ditch it from hand to grave, and you can either add a poly from deck to hand, a polymerization, just for you know new people. A polymerization from deck to hand, or you can target a Luna Light in graveyard and add it to your hand. Gotta do that. There we go. Uh, sorry, my phone. I didn't want it like to, cause it was like right under the microphone. I didn't want it to like go off and then like blow the microphone. Anyways, it's uh, it's third effect. Um, if it is used as a fusion material, you can send it to gra or if sent to the graveyard as a fusion material, you could add another uh, Luna Light monster that was used, or a Luna Light monster from graveyard to hand. So that's an awesome play. Uh, it combos very well with Luna Light White Rabbit. So Luna Light White Rabbit's effect. When normal, oh excuse me. When this card is normal summoned, uh, you could target one Luna Light monster in graveyard and special summon it to field. So the reason why uh, it's a really good card is because uh, if you have a Luna Light Fusion on field, you can target Blue Cat, the first one I showed you, you target Blue Cat, special summon it to field, and its effect will go off and target the fusion and double its attack. Uh, you can target Black Sheep because you can ditch it from hand, uh, add the poly from deck to hand, uh, normal White Rabbit, special the Black Sheep from Graveyard, Palmer's uh, Poly, summon the generic fusion for Luna Lights, and uh, Black Sheep effect goes off and adds the Luna Light or the White Rabbit back to hand. Plus, also, if you're going with the Blue Cat Summon, then you're going to have, like, three monsters on field. If you're going to double your fusion, uh, then you'll get at three targets because the second effect is you can destroy up to the equal number, uh, equal total of Luna Light monsters on... or uh, Let me try that again. Equal to the number of Luna Light monsters on field, you can destroy up to that many monsters, uh, up to that many spells or traps on field that your opponent controls. So that's awesome. Um, the next regular Luna Light monster, because they do have uh, some fusions, or they do have some pendulums, my bad, um, is Luna Light Purple Butterfly. Purple Butterfly is an honest, so which means you can ditch it from hand to grave and uh, target a Luna Light monster, and it gains a thousand attack. I know that's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Um, also, uh, you can banish it from graveyard. Uh, to special summon a Luna Light monster from hand. Now onto the pendulum monsters that are Luna Lights. Luna Light Tiger. Luna Light Tiger's effect is when it is destroyed, uh, you get to special summon one Luna Light monster from graveyard. Now that Luna Light monster is up to you, whichever ones are in grave. Sorry, I dropped the deck. Um, 
Lunalite Monster, or Lunalite Monster and Graveyard. Its pendulum effect is once uh, once per turn while it's in the pendulum zone, you can target a Lunalite Monster and Graveyard and Special Summon it. So you can activate its effect, your opponent wants to chain to it and blow it up, you still would get the Special Summon from Grave um, because its, second, its monster effect goes off. Uh, the last Pendulum Monster and last Lunalite Monster I run um, is Lunalite Wolf. Um, amazing. It is a Miracle Fusion. I only run two just because it's cloggy if you run into it too much. So that's why, you know, Lunalite uh, Wolf is just, you know, amazing. I love Lunalite Wolf because uh, it's a Miracle Fusion monster. And the last monster of the deck is King of the Swamp. Little, little side note about King of the Swamp. King of the Swamp, as far as I know, you cannot substitute Lunalite or King of the Swamp for any of the Lunalite monsters. Uh, I don't know why, um, like, I don't know why exactly, from what I've read is, uh, it's a wording thing, because King of the Swamp is old, um, it, the Lunar Light fusions are going off kind of like with the Elemental Hero fusions, but the, this can be used for substitutes for the Elemental Heroes, I don't know, it's weird, if anyone has answers, please post in the comments below, I would love to know, uh, cause if I can break the game and use this, that just makes this deck so much more powerful. Um, so yes, if anyone knows, please let me know. Um, other than that, King of the Swamp is really just your polymerization search. It's just another polymerization search. As, because again, as far as I know, you cannot use King of the Swamp for your substitute for the fusions. I think you should be able to, but no, what do I know? I don't know. I can't read. <laughs> uh, that's it for monsters. We're going to move on to the spells. Uh, I run three Fire Formation Tanky. It is a search because all of them are beast, are beast warrior monsters. Except for the King of the Swamp, obviously. But all of them are Beast Warrior monsters. The only ones, the only Lunar Light monster you cannot search is Wolf because it is a level 6. Other than that, all of them you can search out with Tenki. Um, even when the new the new support comes out, uh, you'll still be able to do that. So, yes, that's yeah, that's about it for Tenki. Uh, the next card, obviously, since it's a new fusion archetype, uh, you get to run Polymerization. Um, I don't really know how I feel about Fusion Substitute. Um, I teched it in there for, you know, a couple duels just for fun, just for testing, but I think polymerization is definitely the way to go, uh, just because, uh, poly, the way the deck runs, it's a lot easier and faster, um, just a fuse from hand. Uh, fusion recovery. Fusion recovery allows you to add a polymerization and a monster that was used for a fusion material, so that's always nice. Uh, definitely run three. Fusion Reserve does not work, um, just because there's no there's no specific targets on the uh, Lunalite monsters that are monsters that are in the main deck. Um, so yeah, that's that's the downer part right there. So you won't even get the the poly from Grave. Uh, but Fusion Recovery is literally the only way to go. Uh, the next card I run is Fusion Tag, which is really broken with this uh, a way to search out poly. Um, and or poly itself, uh, and three Lunalite monsters. So if that is your opening hand, Fusion Tag, Polymerization, and three Lunalite monsters, doesn't really matter which one. Fusion Tag is, you, you can first turn big guy. Um, because you can just normal summon the normal monster, or normal summon just one of the random monsters. Fusion Tag, target him, uh, or her, whatever you consider. Uh, make it Panther Dancer, uh, which is the second fo the second fusion uh, of the Lunalites. Um, then Polly, boom, big monster. Um, they all are darks except for the Pendulum Monsters and King of the Swamp, obviously. Um, so you can allure, and that's actually a lot of targets for the allure, which is amazing, I'm really happy about. Uh, so that helps out, uh, draw power and consistency. Uh, and then I run Mystical Space Typhoon or MST. Um, yeah, I mean, like, you could run tw uh, Twin Twisters, um, just the way I play the deck is I need my Lunar Lights either in hand, uh, if, if, if I do have targets and if I do have cards to pitch, more like, more than likely they're Lunar Light monsters and I need my Lunar Light monsters, so might as well just run the MST for me. At least that's, that's how I see it. If you want to go ahead and try the deck or with Twin Twisters, it still works. It just sometimes it could put you in a situation where you need a, the Lunar Light monster. Um, and the traps line, the trap and spell lineup is so scarce that you kind of need them too. So MST, and 
going off Yu-Gi-Oh! Common Sense was the best way to go. That's it for monsters, or spells, we're going to go into the traps. Now, Lunar Light Reincarnation Dance. Yes, I'm running three three of this and three tanky. Um, running the three tanky as well as two or three of these, uh, just because I need the search, I need stuff to go off fast, and this will not always go off. I mean, neither, sometimes tanky won't go off too, uh, just in case, like, they uh, MST or Twin Twister it. Um, so, yeah, downers, um, uh, but, oh, uh, but anyways, this, uh, when a monster is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can activate this, and, um, search out two Lunar Light monsters and add in hand. Any Lunar Light monsters, uh, so that's really awesome. Uh, the next trap I run is two Quaking Mirror Force. Quaking Mirror Force is just amazing for the deck. Drop everything in defense mode, um, and just fucking punch. That's really about it, just drop it and punch. Um... And one solemn warning, because I need the summon negation. Because uh, I also had the space, so I was like, summon negation, let's let's do it. That takes it for the main deck. Uh, the extra deck, uh, you're, I'm only showing you the Lunalite Fusions and like what I run for Lunalite Fusions. Because I don't really have an extra deck, extra, like an actual, like, full extra deck. Just because the deck is mostly about the Lunalites, so you need the Lunalites. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you could go into, there's only one four. Uh, one level four in the deck currently, so that's a downer. Um, we won't get another four till the Crimson Fox comes out, uh, which is a giant downer because uh, the Crimson Fox is just amazing and such protection. Uh, so yeah, that's that sucks. But um, I run three to like uh, Cat Dancer. It's a little. It's the first form, the baby, the baby dancer. Um, She's new to the squad. Or she's the newest dancer to the squad, <laughs> if you get my joke. But if you don't know well, then it's whoo, right over your head. Um, but yes, she is generic. Uh, during main phase one, uh, you contribute a Lunamite monster you control, and you can attack each monster once, or you can attack each monster twice. Uh, the first time it would be destroyed by battle, uh, it would not be destroyed. And every time this monster declares attack, uh, deal 100 damage. So even if they emit, uh, even if they like mirror force it anyway, uh, as soon as attack declaration, they take 100. It doesn't matter. Unless the attack is negated altogether, then they're taking the 100 no matter what. Even if uh, they dimensional fission, or dimensional fission, uh, dimensional prison, um, the 100 still goes through. Um, next one is Little Light Panther Dancer. She's been around for a minute in the dance crew. Um, Yes, Panzer Dancer. Uh, it's a fact you have to declare. You have to physically say, "I declare Lunar Light Dance or Panzer Dancer effect." Um, but you can attack every monster once, uh, and every time it is, you can attack every monster twice. Um, plus, uh, the first time it would be destroyed is not destroyed, um, and when it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, uh, it gains 200 attack. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, just really tired. Um, but yeah, so that's it for her really. Uh Cat Dancer, uh cannot be destroyed by battle. Panther Dancer cannot be destroyed by card effects. Um wow, just throw your own cards, Richard. Uh and then the last one, the ring leader of the crew, Leo Dancer. Now Leo Dancer is a god. It can make a second attack. Um uh yeah, it can make a second attack, cannot be destroyed. Cannot be destroyed by card effects, and also cannot be targeted by card effects. Uh, which means it is untouchable except for by battle. You have to run it over. And but yes, you can Santa Claus. You can creature swap anything that doesn't target for sure. Um, you could do that um, as well as Santa. Uh, like I said, Santa Claus or the Kaiju. Um, and yeah, it's, yes. Uh, so also, what is it? There was something I wanted to do. There was something that I wanted to say about this card. Oh yeah, it's a uh, it's continuation effect. If it declares an attack. Um, you can destroy all special summon monsters, so pendulum monsters, this is very scared. This is very scary, and also Cosmos, because as soon as it declares an attack, poof, bye Cosmos. Um, yeah, and just start running shit over. Uh, so, with this with this guy and Butterfly, you can deal a 9,000, and it's OTK. Um, but that's it, it's about four of the Lunar Light monsters. Like I said, you can run generic twos, threes, and fours, I guess, but the only four you'll be overlaying with is Cat Dancer itself. I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed playing Lunar Lights. If it wasn't for Cosmos, um, then this deck would be like top, would be topping hardcore. Um, but it, because of freaking Cosmos. But don't worry, they're at their max potential, which means they're going to be hit very soon. Um, 
and I'm excited because I've realized Cosmos were Konami's baby. They like slowly hitched them in there and slowly made them good um, and slowly made them fucking stupid amazing. I'm not going to go on giant rant because I want to end this video. Um, don't forget like, share, and subscribe to my other videos. Um, that it? Yeah, don't, yeah, don't forget like, share, and subscribe to my other videos. All the links to social media is in the description below. Thank you and have a wonderful, beautiful night, day thing, or whatever.